Today, we will tell you about operation of a mobile complex for a wastewater treatment based on AVS 150 Vortex layer device. Our mobile complex is designed to treat the wastewater containing heavy metals, arsenic, fluorides, cyanides, phenol, and many other water polluting elements with a capacity of up to 18 cubic meters per hour. In this video, operation of the complex will be showcased using the example of treating the electroplating workshop wastewater that contains hexavalent chromium. Compounds of this metal are toxic and cause poisoning if ingested. Therefore, the chromium content in discharged wastewater is strictly regulated. In the samples taken, the concentration of hexavalent chromium was almost 7,300 times as high as the permissible rate. 364 mg per liter at the rate of 0.05 mg per liter. A chemical-based treatment method is generally used to remove heavy metals from wastewater. Special substances, chemical agents, are added to wastewater and convert heavy metal ions from soluble to poorly soluble form due to preceding chemical reactions after which they precipitate to the tank bottom and are easily separated from the water. If hexavalent chromium concentrations are high, a two-stage treatment is recommended. At the first stage, more toxic hexavalent chromium is converted into less toxic trivalent chromium, and at the second stage, trivalent chromium is converted into poorly soluble compounds after interacting with the chemical agent and removed as a precipitate. Let us discuss how these processes are implemented in Globecore AVS 150K Mobile Complex. Wastewater may come from different workshops and contain chromium of various concentrations. In this case, it is difficult to correctly calculate the amount of chemical agent. Therefore, during the work shift, all the effluents are collected into a separate balancing tank where the concentration is equalized. After the balancing tank is filled, the float mechanism is triggered and generates a signal to start operating on the control panel of the device. After the signal is received, the vacuum pump starts and powers up the pipeline. After powering up the pipeline, the main supply pump starts. The water enters the mixing chamber where a chemical agent solution, that is iron sulfate, is supplied by a dosing pump. After pre-mixing, the water and the chemical agent enter the operating chamber of the vortex layer device where hexavalent chromium is converted to trivalent chromium after which it enters the storage tank. The operating chamber of the device constitutes a pipeline inside which cylindrical steel particles driven by a rotating electromagnetic field move along complex trajectories, constantly contact the substances passing through the pipeline, and regularly collide with one another and with the chamber walls. At the same time, Various physical phenomena arise in the operating zone of the device due to which not only water and chemical agent mixing, but also a more complete and intensive course of chemical reaction is achieved. Furthermore, only a few kilowatts of active power are spent to create a rotating electromagnetic field. Thus, the presence of a vortex layer device makes the complex more compact due to the fact that mixing occurs in the stream and does not require large mixing tanks, energy efficient due to ceasing to use mechanical mixers, and also saves expensive chemical agents due to the rapid course of chemical reactions. At the second stage, the water is premixed with a chemical agent, that is lime milk, and enters the operating chamber of the vortex layer device again where a chemical reaction for converting trivalent chromium into poorly soluble compounds ends. Afterwards, the water enters the tank, settles down, and becomes separated into liquid, purified water, and solid, precipitate, fractions. Upon completion of treatment, we analyze the treated water and obtain the following results. Hexavalent chromium is not contained. Total chromium concentration, 0.05 mg per liter. pH equals 8. These parameters are compliant with applicable rates, and treated water can be used in the recycling water supply systems of industrial enterprises. Treated water can be discharged into fisheries, or into the sewer system. For more information, please visit our website www.globecorp.com.